Greetings and welcome to TIU, the info underground dot com. Today's date is Sunday, fourth of September, a week before nine eleven, two thousand and eleven, and I'm your host, Yogster, again. Uh, as I said, we're going to follow up on the shows, and we're back online, uh, and we're not going to we're not going to stand down to anything. Interesting week in the news. Uh, for me, the couple of things more interesting was uh, this little uh, playful fight between uh, Turkey and uh, Israel. Israel, this absolutely despicable country. Anyway, we'll get on to that. Uh, certain blog post uh, on Zero Hedge today made a lot of news about Chinese uh, and China's um, uh, ideas on gold. We might cover that. We might also cover the more news on Zero Hedge. But I'm joined by uh, last week's uh, guest and, and admin at TIU, Joe, Joe Blow. Hey, Joe, how you doing? We're here, We're to, here bring to bring it, it not, not sing, sing it. it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, And Joe, you have a guest for us. If you'd like to introduce your guest, go ahead. Yes, uh, what we're having a special guest today, his name is Matros. He's hailing straight from New York City. You may have heard him uh, previously on my own show. He knows everything about We Are Change, and like um, he's going to give some really good dirt on about that, and also uh, just generally about uh, many things about Jewish in New York City, which he's uh, quite familiar with. Though he's not a Jew, I want to make—I forgot to make that point on the last show. <laughs> All right, Matros, uh, welcome to the show. How you doing, Angela? Uh Good, good to hear you. A uh, little. Bit, let's start off with uh, you know uh, we are a, we are a bunch of 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 uh, Israeli forces. I mean, we are change. Uh, how did you get to know that we are changed? When did you, uh, did you hang out with these guys? I mean, did you, have you broken? I presume you're broken away. Uh, what did you learn from these guys, besides buy Alex Jones DVDs? <laughs> no, I think uh, the younger, the younger guys in the movement, uh, like Luke Rodowski and uh, everybody else, like uh, Damian Rockefeller, I think they're in it for their own uh, benefit of uh, getting basically laid. Mm -hmm. With the high chicks, and that's what they uh, motivated by. And the ten grand every month. Well, obviously, yeah. And but there was like one specific point that you kind of like shared with us right before the show concerning uh, certain the Jewish connections of uh, certain we are changers, especially if you can go through like what happened on that uh, also on that European trip uh, Luke Rodowski did for on a part of we are change. Yeah, I actually went to. Uh, College with uh, the member, uh, the founding father of uh, VR Change Greece. Uh, I had a class with him, and uh, yeah, from his Facebook uh, pictures, you can tell he has been to Israel on a birthright trip. And uh, usually, if you're not Jewish, you have to be of Jewish descent. You know, the rabbis uh, check you out before they give you, you know, that free trip. And so he he definitely has been uh, he he had a, made a pilgrimage to Israel, and that just uh, you know should uh, weird everybody out. How can uh, uh, such a person be enticed with uh, these kind of people? Mm, and uh, you said also like when Luke Rodowski was on his European trip for We Are Kikes, uh, he made a complete fool of himself. Correct? Yeah, he. He uses everybody. Um, oh yeah. Uh, all the I guess the people that uh, sort of uh, want to help out with uh, the lodging and the food. He he just you know he meets girls on the trips and he does whatever he wants to do with them and uh, that's about it. And uh, you know he never gets in trouble. He always pushes uh, the lower level, um, you know people that are in the group to get in trouble. You know get arrested. But he's always on the side, you know, videotaping it. You know, the the police never touch him. It's almost like they know he's uh, he's some sort of asset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're saying, like, when he goes on these European trips, he's more uh, concerned about spreading 9/11 truth between women's legs, right? Where did he go to anywhere in Europe? Uh, France, uh, Spain, uh, and I think Greece. Those I'm, those I'm sure about, but uh, yeah, European trip and the guy uh, from VR Change Greece uh, told me that we, we, we've some good, you know, probably because we've got some good-looking skinny chicks over here. I mean, he's getting paid; he's an asset. Exactly. But mm. I, I mean, this this blurring of nine eleven. I mean, we're we're coming up on the tenth anniversary 
Uh, we've been hit by pods and, and no planers and, and space weapons and moon weapons and all of the different nonsense that's been put in there uh, into the mix. And then you have this group, We Are Change, which is very, uh, I mean, I only had a quick look at them back, uh, going back a couple of years, or highly associated with uh, the Alex Jones Brigade, and I've said, uh, move on. Um, what, what was the sort? I mean, were you a member of We Are Change? No, I actually just made a, a visit to 9-11 site, I think in 2006, and I, and I was hanging around with them uh, one September 11th. Because uh, it was a nice day and I had nothing to what? do when I biked over there. Okay. But I try not to get involved. I uh, just watch from the you know, proximity. I don't get but it. Ogner, I, man, I don't see any of these people. Man, Ogner, that one thing he just said about like the police like leaving Luke Dodowski alone while like all the other like um you know useful idiots get their asses kicked and like um you know arrested. I mean that strikes me right there like uh, the powers that be said like uh, mm -hmm. Luke Rodowski's one of us, like just leave him alone, you know, just uh, you could take everybody else but Luke Rodowski right there, dude. Have you guys noticed the resemblance between uh, Julian Assange and Luke Rodowski? They're both uh, blondish and, uh, you know, I, th I, th I don't know if uh, Luke could be, you know, a uh, uh, brainwashing victim or whatever, his assets, long-term assets. Well, I, mean, I don't know, I'm, man. I'm, it's I'm, like... I mean, you're, you're talking about brainwashing. I mean, brainwashing getting ten ten thousand dollars every month. We don't know where it comes from, where it goes on. You're saying he's getting... Well, he thinks he's getting laid all the time. Uh, how much more brainwashing do you want? Add in you know, a little bit of drugs and a little bit of television and don't mention that horrible place in the Middle East. Uh, you got a great character. Oh, actually, there's another thing. Um, my friend is uh, well, no, one of the more popular DJs over here. He does a lot of raves. And uh, Luke Rodowski was present at uh, one of these raids, and uh, they definitely do drugs. Oh man, Luke Rodowski's a drug addict. Man, that, that's another more blackmailer material. I mean, like Ogner, they could like shut down Luke Rodowski anytime that they feel like if he ever goes too far. Uh, there's no, there's absolutely no fear, absolutely no fear of that. Uh, let's move, let's move on. You know, we are, we are change, we we are morons. Uh, let's move on, <laughs> Joe. We're we're getting back into from the last one. We're into the WikiLeaks again. Uh, leaks coming out left, right, and center. Uh, uh, what, what do you make of any of the the current release of the current batch of releases? And getting into, you know, now that we have a, a on bit and it's all over the internet. The the uncut version uh, that was released and has sparked a big fight between uh, WikiLeaks and the Guardian, Der Spiegel, uh, New York Times, or whatever, etc. Uh, all blaming each other for the release of them. Now we have hundreds of th tens of thousands of new uh, depeches from you know an American standpoint. Someone uh, writing back to DC saying, "Well, you know, I had a meeting with uh, Mr. X." Doesn't mean that these these cables are a hundred percent kosher. Does not mean that. But it does spin a bit of light on, shed a bit of light on the workings of the State Department and how they gather information uh, from around the world. And I mean, every country, Ireland's included, you know, the, the Iraq cables, the Yemenese cables, the Swiss cables, this, that, and the other. Uh, um, America seems to be this big spider with, with its all over the world collecting information for their banking buddies, their, 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 their overlords. There's two points I like to make. I don't know which one is more important. I'll just take them in the order of what it popped in my head. The first one is that, like, um, how much like, in the latest cable release they said Israel totally got only thirty billion dollars. I don't think that's true. I don't believe that number. That is way too low of a number. Uh, from what I've seen, it's almost in the trillion. I can't remember exactly all the money they have. One point two trillion. Yes, exactly. That's why I said that's fake. That, that's what I'm telling you, Ogmir. A lot of this uh, quote unquote leaked evidence, to me, it just means like uh, they released it because they, they, uh, they uh, shaped it, they crafted this information to be released. I don't believe that this. Uh, I say, like, I, I'm, I'll, maybe I'm crazy. I'll just say most of this uh, misinformation, not disinformation. There's a difference between disinformation and misinformation. 
having a saying that Israel only gets $30 billion dollars is definitely misinformation. And the other thing I like to talk about is like how this information was released long before like Yeah, but uh, Joe, Joe you have to, you have to remember that the, this American person uh sending the sending the cable uh does not have the information that it, the number is actually, you know, 1.2 trillion and he, you know, he he reads the company line is, you know, we've only ever given them 30 billion. What are what are people going on about? I, I can completely concur with it. There's, uh, there's always going to be, um, you know, the it, it taking like uh, what do you call it, Fritz Springmeier, the little Illuminati pyramid. He's mm -hmm. that guy's definitely way on the bottom. But the other thing I like to bring up uh, is long before the, these cables were actually available, but they are encrypted with a special password. I just mm -hmm. wanted uh, maybe people don't aren't aware of what had occurred. So uh, everyone did have a copy of these particular uh, cables, but they couldn't open them mm -hmm. without the secret password. What happened was the time. Times they uh, released the password, and I read the story about like how this occurred. Like, oh, they blamed this guy, they blamed that guy. But like, it basically, it seemed to me that like um, the Times got the go-ahead from the U.S. government to release this passwords because, or I, I, I don't know, Ogner, is it the uh, well, remember, uh, remember uh, what, is it U.S. government, is it NATO, or is it just Israel, as like uh, you always say? Well, you know, uh, when we got mention of these leaks originally, uh, Clinton. Uh, made her a quick visit around the world to see all the leaders and she went all over the place from Asia to Africa, Asia, or sorry, to uh, Middle East and Europe. Uh, and basically, uh, you know, what, what can she say? That's the way they, they spy. It's an open spy operation uh, like the Israeli on a very smaller scale than the Israelis have in the U.S., any information that were in these cables, Israel would have been well aware of a long time ago. They would have been a, would